Let's do a deep dive on the walking technique, which uh, can fix stage two hypertension with uh, just uh, 30 minutes of uh, walking per day. Researchers started with a group of men who had uh, stage two hypertension with uh, average systolic blood pressure of uh, 146 and women with uh, the starting systolic blood pressure of uh, 140. And they shown that these techniques helped uh, men in this group to reduce their systolic uh, blood pressure to 136 units and they just reduced the systolic blood pressure from 140 to 132 units. Both groups also reduced their diastolic blood pressure equally with very impressive results and they also decreased their resting heart rate by a few beats per minute. What is really important is that they managed to improve their aerobic capacity or VO2 max by 9% and according to experts like uh, Dr. Peter Atia, VO2 max is the single most uh, important indicator of longevity because the higher your VO2 max number, the lower all-cause uh, mortality. You're expected uh, to walk for uh, three minutes with 40% uh, of your maximum walking pace and then three minutes at 70% of your maximum walking pace. Repeat these uh, two intervals uh, five times uh, during uh, one day, which uh, makes it uh, 30 minutes per day. Complete this exercise at least uh, four days per week and uh, keep uh, repeating this exercise for uh, five months to achieve the results. So how do we calculate the maximum uh, walking pace? To do it, uh, it's better to use a treadmill. Try to walk as fast as you can before you start uh, jogging. And uh, note uh, a number of uh, steps which uh, you make in uh, 30 seconds, and then uh, multiply this number of steps uh, by uh, two to uh, calculate uh, the amount of steps per minute. So let's say uh, your maximum uh, walking pace is uh, 100 steps uh, per minute. Then when you perform a Japanese walking, you uh, walk uh, for three minutes at uh, 40 steps per minute. And then for another three minutes, you walk at uh, 70 steps uh, per minute. You can uh, measure your maximum walking pace uh, without a treadmill by uh, just uh, walking for uh, 10 seconds at your maximum uh, walking pace and then uh, multiplying your results by six uh, to get a number of steps per minute. But the results will be less precise. So how does uh, this uh, Japanese uh, walking technique compares uh, to the more popular Norwegian 4x4 protocol, which is the number one technique for developing your VO2 max. In the Norwegian 4x4, you are expected to run at your maximum speed for uh, four minutes, then uh, jog lightly for uh, three minutes to recover, and then uh, repeat uh, this uh, protocol uh, four times. Obviously, the Norwegian 4x4 protocol produces higher increase in VO2 max. For those who just started uh, to practice, it is better to start from the Japanese uh, technique. You can uh, try uh, these different uh, techniques for developing your VO2 max in our app Breath Now. And there you can also uh, try a free test which we developed together with the scientists at the University of Cambridge which can help you to estimate your VO2 max level in just five minutes at home with uh, no equipment needed. Please uh, try these techniques, uh, try these videos, let us know how they worked for you. Stay healthy and have a wonderful day.